and the whole subway sequence. I wanted to recreate that gritty New York subway feel. The train conductors, the people that were driving the trains, some of them were just mad. And at two o'clock in the morning, if you happen to be on a train going from Manhattan to Brooklyn, that guy was driving at like 90 miles an hour on these old tracks and you could fly from one end of the car to the other. Nobody cared. Nobody, nobody cared what was going on with the passengers. And I kind of wanted to capture that feel. We couldn't find any trains in New York anymore that had graffiti on them. They just don't exist. And to shoot with the MTA is almost impossible. So Tom Nico, my production coordinator who was great at getting me things, went down to the Transit Museum and he talked to the guy who runs the place and we were able to rent a, a, an old car down there with a camera like just going like this and like that and we had the actors going back and forth to create like the movement of the train. And then to shoot the exterior, I had to wait till Christmas time when, when the MTA does this thing where they run a train through the system that's like an old train and I had to wait there for hours. I had my graphic designers and special effects people graffiti the heck out of it in post-production and that's how we got that great shot of the train driving with graffiti. That was probably my most expensive special effect. <laughs>